Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see model question paper of 2022 batch for basic electronics subject with the subject code 22BWE13 bar 23. Here you can see in my left, I have a syllabus copy for basic electronics. This subject is for ECE and allied branches 22BWE13 bar 23. And here I have a model question paper released by VTU for basic electronics subject. So if you see the syllabus copy of module 1, you can see this module 1 covers semiconductor diodes, diode applications and Zener diodes up to this module 1 is. So in the model question paper, the questions will be on. In question number 1a, you can see forward and reverse characteristics of silicon diode, diode forward and reverse bias characteristics they have asked for 8 marks. Here you need to write the characteristics, IV characteristics with that diode connected in forward bias manner and reverse bias manner. And coming to B question, describe the working of capacitor filter for half wave rectifier. Here a rectifier question is asked, half wave rectifier with a need diagram and necessary waveforms. You need to write the waveforms also. It is capacitor filter based half wave rectifier. So you need to carefully observe the question that they have asked capacitor filter or not. And 1C is a problem on determining the peak output voltage and current of a bridge rectifier circuit. So for the rectifier circuits, we have peak output voltage, DC voltage, DC current like that. Expressions you need to remember. One question will be there on that. Otherwise, they will ask to derive the expressions for the DC current or average current, average voltage like that. So this is the problem. So the complete solution for this model question paper will be prepared and the new video will be updated. In that I will solve this problem. And coming to the second question of module 1, this is the choice question for this module 1. Describe the working of full wave rectifier with need circuit diagram and necessary waveforms. See here half wave rectifier with capacitor filter is asked. Here full wave rectifier with need circuit diagram and waveforms asked. Means one question will be there on rectifier working. Half wave or full wave rectifier or bridge rectifier. And coming to 2B. It is on Zener diode. Explain Zener diode worked as a voltage regulator considering no load and full load condition. Here you need to clearly mention the expressions for no load and full load condition where Zener diode acting as a voltage regulator. This is also for 8 marks. And one more problem here a diode with forward voltage is 0.7 volts connected in a half wave rectifier. This problem is on rectifier and they have given the load resistance and the secondary RMS value 22 volts determine the peak output voltage and peak load current. Again it is on rectifier problem. So here also you can see one problem is there, here also a problem is there on rectifier. So this carries 4 marks. This is how module 1 questions can be expected. Coming to module 2, module 2 is on bipolar junction transistor and field effect transistor BJT and FET. Here question number 3 first one is output characteristics of a transistor in common emitter configuration. You can easily expect this question common emitter or common base will be asked in the exam out of those two one question you can expect easily and working of N channel JFET is asked and then with respect to BJT describe the concept of obtaining a DC load line. How to write the DC load line you need to explain here with IV characteristics that is for 4 marks. This is module 2 and the choice question in module 2 is explain enhancement type MOSFET with drain characteristics. Here drain current and how it is going to vary with respect to the voltages need to be explained with region of operation that is 4A. 4B is common base output characteristics. As I said here they have asked common emitter configuration and here they are asking common base configuration. And 4C is describe how a transistor can be used as voltage amplifier. This is about BJT as amplifier. So how the transistor can be used as voltage amplifier we need to explain. This is about module 2. One question, one or two questions will be on BJT and one or two questions will be from FET. Coming to module 3, operational amplifier and op-amp applications. In module 3, you can see, uh, explain the following input offset voltage and the slew rate. The question will be on the parameters like this or they will be asked to write the ideal characteristics and practical characteristics of op-amp. And describe the summing amplifier using op-amp and inverting configuration. 
this is summing amplifier or we call it as weighted summer or adder and one problem is an inverting amplifier op amp this is simple problem and then coming to the choice question here block diagram or presentation of op amp also describe the behavior with the equivalent circuit this is again a block diagram of op amp a theory question and coming to the b question integrating amplifier op amp has integrator using inverting configuration all these are application of inverting configuration itself so they just they have mentioned it using or in a inverting configuration this is op amp inverting amplifier and develop a summer circuit of the op amp to get the following output they have given here the following output and we need to develop the circuit for this in the solution video i will give you the clear answer for these questions how to develop for this expression and then coming to module 4 what is module 4 module 4 is digital part of electronics that is boolean algebra and logic circuits combinational logic here number system and conversions binary to decimal decimal to octal hexadecimal to decimal they have asked for 6 marks you can easily expect this conversion from one number system to other number system for 6 marks and express the boolean function f is equal to a plus bc in sum of min terms so they have asked to write this in a sum of min terms in 6 marks this is for 6 marks describe how nand and nor gates can be used as universal gates here you need to describe how nand gate and nor gate can be used as universal gates by implementing other gates using nand nor you can explain this is for 8 marks and coming to choice question of module 4 we need to simplify these expressions this is also an expected question they give some expressions and we need to simplify using boolean laws or they may ask to explain or derive some boolean in, uh, laws also this is for 6 marks and b question explain the boolean function f is equal to xy plus x bar z in a product of max terms here they have given sum of min terms means sum of products here product of max terms they have asked this is for 6 marks describe the working of full adder using basic gates this is also again a repeated question previously in other basic electronics papers they have asked the full adder this is about module 4 coming to module 5 it is about transducers and some part of communication here you can see the working of potentiometric resistive transducer we need to explain the working of that and then write a note on photodiode and explain various blocks involved in the electrical communication system this is a block diagram of communication system this question is also many times repeated in many exams and uh, the choice question if you see lvdt explain the working of linear variable differential transducer this is also a very important question and write a note on piezoelectric transducer and one again communication related question that is what is modulation describe the need of modulation in communication systems these question all questions are very important and in the model paper you can easily see how the questions can be asked from each and every module this is about the basic electronics subject model question paper released by vtu and in the coming videos you can see the complete solution for this model question paper so subscribe to the channel and keep following thank you